Hello, and welcome to Silicon Valley Girls Chat Over Tea. I'm Gloria. And I'm Rosetta over here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Thanks everyone for tuning into our chat this week, today on this lovely Wednesday, April the 15th. We're coming to you from Northern California, the Bay Area, and we are still shelter at home day. I'm not even sure, and I don't really care anymore. So, <laughs> so let's start it off with our teas. And, yes. Yeah, and today I'm going to be drinking, well, I'm repeating this tea. You've seen it many times because I love it so much. It is from Whole Foods. Oh, I've got the back showing. <laughs> Whole Foods. It's the organic ginger turmeric. It has a bunch of really great ingredients. I'm going to read it. It has um, turmeric. It has licorice, um, orange, black pepper, orange peel. And black pepper is great with turmeric because it actually um, brings out the the um, properties, the health properties inside the turmeric when you pair it with black pepper. So there you go, there you have it. And I've had mine steeping for a while. Gonna drink it. Okay, cheers, Gloria. There you go, cheers. Cheers, cheers, my dear. Cheers, and why don't you explain what you're drinking today? I am drinking uh, Yogi tea. This is a lemon ginger tea. Uh, it um, has very few ingredients on the back of the of the paper. It is lemon, ginger. Oh, it has turmeric and black pepper. Oh my goodness! Wow, yes. great wines think alike. Yes. Same as mine: yes. ginger and turmeric and black pepper. I know. <laughs> you know, even far apart, we're still surprise, doing the surprise. same thing. <laughs> <laughs> and we didn't coordinate this. What a shock! Mm -hmm. Oh, nice, nice flavor. So, how are you doing with this shelter and home? How's your family? We're doing great. We haven't had any issues. We've been watching the news um, sparingly because we don't want to watch it 24 7. We've been just seeing the updates and what new things are coming out. And obviously, everyone wants to know what's happening with the different cases and the states and what the governors are doing within each state. So that's what we've been watching. But all in all, I can say that I'm grateful because I'm able to, I'm healthy, I'm alive, I can wake up every day and yes. I have food on the table and I'm grateful for that. Yes. How about you, Gloria? Um, I'm like you, I'm, I'm doing well. My husband has lots of the, you know, conditions that they tell you, you really have to be vigilant and to, you know, stay on top of. So I've got him locked in the house. I don't let him out that much. Um, we, we need to get out of the house. You know, it's, it's, we love each other and we're having a great time. We just want to, you know, touch people. He's a very social person. So when he's not being social, you know, he gets a little snippy. And um, one of the things we started doing is we're calling other people who are sheltered in, mostly uh, seniors, just checking to see how they're doing. Do they need anything? Um, there was a while where we couldn't get toilet paper. So people were like, you know, do you need toilet paper? I have some, I can put a six pack on your doorstep. And, you know, just getting out of, like you said, you can only watch so much of the news, being as proactive as you can be in the community. So for us, we have found just helping people is helping us to feel better. So I'm very grateful for that. Well, that's great. I love it that you're helping each other, the community. And um, like you said, you're asking people if they need anything and you're dropping it off on their doorstep. So I must, I'm thinking that's your neighborhood, right? Yes, right here in That's my little very good. Sac. Yes, very good, very yeah. nice. And um, a lot of the people in my culture sack um, are seniors, like eighty and above, um, and they are sharing stories uh, with me about like the Great Depression. And the one thing that they said that I think is highly missing in the world today, especially with people hoarding, 
they would say if say there were four homes in the the neighborhood if one person went to work all four homes were fed they shared the food they put everything together and that's how they made it through the hard times and i think we could learn a big lesson from doing things like that and that kind of ties into activity that's going on uh, a lot of stars and sports uh, individual and famous individuals are doing this new concept called all in and rosetta was telling me about specifically because you know we love ellen ellen and, yes we miss her so much it's nice to see her in her home and it's been really funny watching Andy, who is just a hoot, on the outside producing the show <laughs> inside. <laughs> yes. Very funny. But you were telling me, uh, Rosetta, about some of the people who are doing All In? Yes, I'll talk about that. And just to let you know, maybe the internet or something is wrong, but it keeps cutting in and out. And I just want to excuse everyone for watching our chats if that happens technology right yes but we're lucky that we can still produce this little chat of ours yes i'm going to talk about ellen so ellen was on instagram i'm big on instagram well maybe it didn't come on instagram but she posted it on instagram and it's a challenge it's all in challenge and what that is is actually a fundraiser to raise funds for three organizations and they are i have to get this right they are the Meals on Wheels, No Kid Hungry, and the American Food Fund. And there's yes. a lot of celebrities, because it's called All In, because they want everyone to be in on this and to participate. And it is a fund that a lot of celebrities have jumped onto. So she showed a little clip of, I thought this was by Leonardo DiCaprio, but I have it wrong, it started by someone else. But that's what I thought. But Leonardo DiCaprio came on with Robert De Niro and they talked about what it was about. And it was about 100% of if you're all in means you're going to make more funds. And as I mentioned, it goes to the three charities, the Meals on Wheels, No Kid Hungry and the American Food Fund. And 100% goes towards those 100%, which is great. And they're Wonderful. talking about why they're doing this. and. They're asking people to jump on the, the website is called allinchallenge.com. We'll put a link to the website below so that if you're interested in donating, then you can. But the twist that the celebrities are doing is that they're challenging each other. Leonardo DiCaprio is challenging Ellen and also who else she said? He said, Ellen and Matthew McConaughey. And Robert De Niro is challenging Jamie Foxx. And when you challenge, what that means is you challenge, donate some money, but not only donate money, also, if you donate, you have a chance to enter for a drawing for that particular celebrity. So Ellen, for example, what she's doing is if you donate a minimum of $25, you get a chance to spend the day with her in her studio. You'll learn how the Ellen show is produced. Then you'll spend the day with her when she's filming it or shooting the show. You'll be next to her when she does her monologue and you'll be next yeah. to her when she's interviewing the celebrities. Yes. So if you want a chance to be able to spend the day with Ellen, go on to all, what is it again? All in challenge. Eh. Okay. And I, I forgot about it's I nearly forgot what you it's all in challenge. And when you go on that uh site, there's different celebrities and they each have their own challenge. So when what that means is you can donate and they'll tell you what you're trying to uh you're donating for entries to win that particular celebrity's um whatever they're trying to offer, like Ellen is offering the day with her, Michael Strahan's had something. Leonardo DiCaprio, Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> has something, but um, Gloria, my friend, was telling me that Michael Strahan from Good Morning America, he was challenged and wanted to tell people what he's going to be offering. So 
Tiki Barber um, is a former New York giant. And so he um, challenged Michael. So Michael Strahan said, you know, we're going to kick it off with getting this person some uh, custom suits from his line as well as um, workout um, gear, you know, sweatsuits, things like that. Uh, he says, and then what we're going to do is give uh, the person their choice of any Good Morning, Good Morning America concert. You know, they put those on in Central Park in New York, so they'll get that. And then Michael does a uh, $100,000 pyramid show, so they'll get seats to that. And then he's like, you know, we'll round it around, have lunch. Um, they can pick any of his cars and they'll take a ride in the car. Now, I don't know if Michael's gonna let them drive his like Lamborghini or you know whatever, or if he's gonna drive the person, but they'll be in the car. And then he said he'll take them to his home so they can see his man cave. So, you know, if you, like I love football. However, if I was to, cause I'm gonna enter, I'm all in with Rosetta. My number one, of course, is Ellen. We're gonna go for Ellen. If I was to do this one, my husband loves football. So this is something like if you're thinking, you know, I want to do something nice for a special man in my life, you know, buying these tickets could be awesome. If they win, having the opportunity to hang out with Michael Strahan, that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's great. And remember, everyone, it's not about just trying to win those lovely prizes or whatever the day with the celebrity it's about donating to this charity which goes to three different funds so yeah. it's for people that don't know when their next meals are families that don't have money or are you know strapped for money during this time and yeah. it's really sad because you see the lines of people lining up for food and they don't know when their next food is or they line up for two hours they're not even sure if they're going to be able to get food by the time they get to the front of the line so Absolutely. that's what you're donating to. So please um, have it in your heart to donate something. And you can start off at $10. Ellen said if you'd like to enter for her challenge, her one does start at $25. Yes. But you, you don't have to do that. You can just donate $10. So as little as $10. So that's you know, great. I had been seeing, I had been seeing a lot of, um, uh, states where cars are lining up and they were saying like 800 cars in line for food and you know you always feel like sometimes that's not here however they are now lining up in Oakland right here in Northern California where we are and they are um, they don't know if they're gonna get food or not so the Alameda Alameda County Food Bank is making these boxes so that people can drive through, they just pump the trunk and they put the food in and they keep on moving through the line. Um, and it's kind of sad for me, like Ellen. I mean, it just, it just touches my heart. When you see there are farmers that are having to dispose of milk because they have to milk the cows every day. And you just see troughs of milk just going down on the ground because so something's wrong, something's broken in our system. If the cows are producing the milk and the farmers can't get the milk packaged and to the grocery stores so that people can buy them. Because here in Northern California, you can still only buy like, you know, one flat of eggs or, you know, two uh, types of milk. So if you're a kid, if you have a child that's lactose intolerant, you can buy one uh, non-dairy milk and one milk and that's it. So there are limitations. I saw farmers here in um, uh, Salinas, and they are turning over beautiful vegetables, squash, lettuce. They're just toiling it back into the soil as fertilizer because they can't, they can't move it. So I hope we're all paying attention as we're going through this pandemic because there are things in the system that's just broken. And I hope we're gonna to work together to fix it because you shouldn't have farmers with food and that food not be able to get to the people. Yep, yep, I truly agree, 100% agree with what Gloria is saying. So my dear, why don't you give us a little joke, we'll lighten it up a little bit. Oh yes, let's talk about jokes. Okay, yes. the first joke I have, here you go. 
What do you call a dog with no legs? <laughs> a hot dog? I don't know. A hot dog. What do you call a dog with no legs? It doesn't matter what you call him. He isn't coming. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No, he's not. He's not <laughs> no, he's coming because he doesn't have any legs. <laughs> I love it. So Rosetta, you know, you and I, we spend a lot of time talking about current events and activities. And offline, we talk a lot about, you know, our own particular fields of expertise. So I want you to talk a little bit for me about some healthy tips that you can share with our community while they're sheltered at home and we're going through this pandemic. Yes, yeah, so me, I'm a certified health coach and I'm a big advocate for healthy eating and healthy living. It's not just about the food we put in our body, it's about the lifestyle we lead. And one of the things that I'm a big advocate for, and it's a great thing to do at this this stage in our lives with the pandemic is to boost our immune system. And what does boosting our immune system mean? It means making our bodies stronger so that it can help fight those diseases and those viruses and pathogens that enter our body. So the reason that we need to boost it is we don't want to get sick, right? People, right. how do you boost your immune system? You're either boosting it or you're suppressing it. So you're making your body weaker. So number one, what you can do is add more fruits and veggies into your diet every day because fruits and veggies have plant nutrients and they make you strong and healthy. They protect against disease. They actually neutralize and reduce inflammation in your body and they balance out your body. So plant nutrients are only found in plant nutrients and they also have antioxidants, which reduce your premature aging. They protect the cells that, damage, that are damaged from all the toxins that you ingest or external um, chemical toxins, outside toxins. So up your intake of fruits and veggies, the recommended servings are 10 handfuls a day. So are you getting 10 handfuls of fruits and veggies every day? That's very important. Each person has a different size hand, so if you're a child, you eat what you can with your hand. An athlete would has bigger hands, so they eat more fruits and veggies. So up your intake of fruits and veggies, lower your intake of animal products. And that's a great way to boost your immune system. Another great way to boost your immune system is to exercise, physical activity. You, your mood changes and you're detoxifying and you're boosting your immune system at the same time. So those are just two things that you can do to boost your immune system. I have a lot of other suggestions, but we will ask Gloria for her little advice and her tips on what she's doing in her business and some educational piece that she can give everyone. Well, thank you. Thank you for sharing that information because it's very important that people know there are alternatives. So I have um, been sequestered for a month. And my husband laughs at me because I will, you know, get up and I'll, you know, put on, you know, a little makeup and I'm just kind of playing around, just trying to figure out different things that can be done. So my company is uh, Ancient Stones Nurturing Natural. I'm an all natural mineral manufacturing company right here in Santa Clara, California. And I've been thinking, you know, if, I always try and tell my customers that you don't have to glob on a lot of makeup. You, you know, because number one, that person, you're never going to allow someone to get this close to your face. So my customers, they'll be really funny and they'll be like, they'll have a mirror and they'll say, oh my God, I can see all my lines. And I'm like, you're not going to let no one get that close. Don't worry about it. So with the new six feet, we are good to go. So say for example, today, I look like I have on, you know, mascara. I haven't had mascara on since I've sheltered at home. So what I found is that if you have like, say, thin eyelashes and you want to pump it up a little bit, what I did is I just put the liner on a little darker. And it looks like I normally look when I go out and I, because I'm not going to let anyone get that close to me, I don't have to worry about it. I also wanted to share with you 
I have a friend, Bibiana Campbell, and she has really bad allergies. And what it does is it affects her eyes. Now, I always tell you that I think I have the world's best makeup setting spray, the Ancient Elixir. However, I use it to set makeup. I have customers that tell me all the time, this is fabulous, Gloria, because what it does is if I have uh, pimples or breakouts, I can use it and it actually helps my acne dissipate faster. So Bibiana shared with me before she goes out, she sprays her eyes, or if she's out and her eyes start to burn, she sprays her face with the elixir and it calms it down. So little did you know that in your purse from ancient stones, you have a little bitty tool that can help you out. The ancient elixir is distilled water, copper and silver. And it's great because copper and silver are antifungal, antibacterial. So Rosetta and I are gonna start trying to share little helpful tips like that for you. Another thing, my, before I get off my little soapbox, ladies are telling me, oh my God, my nails, my nails. If you've got um, any Ancient Stones products, you can take that and take some clear nail polish and put the uh, like a little piece of saran or a piece of foil, pour a little of the clear polish, take the little uh, brush out, Put in some powder, you can use pink, green, blue, whatever you're feeling, mix it together, paint your nails, clean the brush a little bit, put it into the clear and put a clear coat over the top. There won't be the quality you're used to, but you can have some fun and it'll get you through this hard time. So we wanted to share these two things with you to just kind of give you a little bit more insight into our love and our passion. And it's all about healthy living and taking care of each other. Yes. So now we're going to talk right. a little, excuse me? Absolutely right. Thank you, Gloria. Oh, thank you, my dear. So we're going to talk a little bit about COVID. Um, Rosetta and I were talking um, as we're having issues with getting food, there are meat plants that are closing, right, Rosetta? Yes, there are. And it's really shocking. I did not know this. But there are some meat plants in um, Iowa. Iowa has a meat plant called Tyson. I'm sure you've heard of that brand name. It's a oh, very yes. recognizable brand name. And there's been 186 cases of the COVID breaking out in that Tyson food plant. And not only in that plant, but also South Dakota has another famous meat packing plant called Smithfield. I'm sure some of you may have heard of that. I definitely have heard of Smithfield. And there are 430 plus cases of the coronavirus breaking out there. And we know that in those two states, they have not um, ordered, the government or the mayor has right. not ordered the stay at home order. So people are still out and about. And I believe these two plants have been closed. But what surprises me is that they're not doing that mass shelter at home like other states are doing. So those um, states like Iowa, um, South Dakota, around those mid states, they're still out and about. They don't have that in place like all the other states have, which is shocking. So that's um, pretty amazing to hear. And it's just, I don't understand why they haven't done it because most of the other states around America have already put that stay at home order in place a long time ago. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I heard that um, there were still churches, even though they know how serious this is, that had um, service on Sunday. And, you know, they asked this one gentleman um, about, you know, how many people did he have at service? And he said 900 parishioners. What? Okay, you, you, there's no way 900 people can be inside a facility and not touch. Not well, that's be, definitely not social distancing. No, definitely. not at all. And, and he said that they didn't have any uh, knowledge of any outbreaks, so therefore he felt, you know, he was fine to run the service and he kept, you know, saying, you know, it's my, it's my right as an American, you know, and uh, I have several liberties and uh, I'm going to continue to have Sunday service. So well, some people ridiculous. don't believe it. 
how would you know how does he know people don't have it because it's you, you don't show the symptoms that's right you're walking you around know, yeah george stephanopoulos's wife um Allie, Allie had it george stephanopoulos of abc news has yes. it he's still on the air he doesn't he's he doesn't have a fever he doesn't you know have the cough he he has no symptoms right. yet he tested positive because he was taking care of her right so there you have it there's no way to know if someone has it and for the people that have the church open how do you know you're not 100 percent guaranteed you're not clear of the virus right i think we're very lucky here in california because our governor gavin newsom um he locked california down before a lot of other states did and now uh yesterday he shared that he is looking to open the country back up and he said that there's going to be six indicators for modifying the stay-at-home order the other thing I thought was awesome about his announcement is he's working with the governors of Oregon and uh, Washington State because we share borders and they are collaborating on when and how to open their states back up. I think that is just being so responsible. And he said anyone looking for information can go to covid19.ca.gov. Great, that's really great. Yes, we were the first state in America to have the shelter at home order. And I love the fact that he's working with the other two states. He did yeah. mention like looking forward what it might look like when we get back to our new norm. And he just mentioned one of the things would be we would still be able to go out and eat, but you would see the waiters and waitresses with gloves and masks and any establishment you'd have to have your temperature checked that might be the new norm. There you go. Because, you know, like you and I have been talking, we don't think this, this mask situation, the mask environment is going to go away for a long time. And um, I have a friend and she's actually hand making masks and her sister and her are trying to distribute them to people because everybody's going to have to figure out how to shelter themselves from the environment and from others because everybody's not conscious enough to stay six feet away they're not conscious enough to wear a mask or to wear gloves i can't believe every time i have to go out to buy food i'm shocked by the people who are out acting like life is normal that's true i've still seen people out and about when i go shopping i don't really go shopping a lot but when i have gone there's probably like half of the people that are shopping don't have gloves or, or um, I want to say scarves. I'm not sure why, but gloves and masks. Well, That's what I'm trying yeah. to say. You can wear a scarf too. You just have to shield your face. You know, mostly you're, you know, because it's hard for us to have something that will do eyes, nose, and mouth. So at least a mask or a scarf will shield that face. And, you know, if you have glasses or, you know, sunglasses, you can wear them. Right, but don't be touching your glasses too often. But as Glory was saying, we still see a lot of people out there that aren't taking it seriously. No masks, no gloves, just walking around like it's, you know, touching everything in the supermarkets. Yes. Um, and yeah. they tell you, when you go shopping, whatever you touch, make sure you want it and then put it in the cart. The way, you know, like you will pick up a can, oh, I don't want that one, pick up a can, oh, I don't want that. Don't do that because you don't know who has touched it before you and they don't know that you've touched it. So just try and be a little bit more conscious about the whole thing. Right, right. Um, I know a lot of Americans are, you know, holding on and waiting for those stimulus checks. Supposedly, if you have automatic deposit from filing your taxes, the checks are supposed to be going out this week. So, you know, good luck. And if anyone gets, actually gets the stimulus deposited in their accounts we would love for you to hit us up down below and let us know i got mine or something so that anyone who views our our youtubes will actually be able to say okay help is on the way now for us that like myself i always file mine and i get a physical check that is going to be a, a while before you get the check so what they said is you can go online and you can fill out online on irs.gov 
I think it's, I don't know if it's .gov or .com, make sure it's the proper IRS website and you can put in your information to change it from a physical check to an online deposit. Because um, I heard this morning that the Treasury Department says President Trump wants his name on every stimulus check and they're going to do it. They're saying it's not gonna cause a delay. And um, anybody that's ever done any type of financial transaction, if you're moving down the road and you make a change, you have to stop and you have to modify and then you can move forward. So I understand, you know, he might like it from an ego perspective, but I think the checks should just continue to go out like they always have been because then there will be no additional delay to Americans who really, really need that money. Yes, and I'm like you, Gloria, I get my checks mailed as well for my taxes. So mine will be delayed along with yours. Yes, we're in this together. <laughs> <laughs> there are um, companies that are, well, not really companies, restaurants that had to shut their businesses down. And some of them um, opened their uh, restaurants up. They gave food away. Uh, some of them have converted from a sit-down restaurant to a order pickup, order to go kind of environment. And Rosetta was telling me about a, a company called Flights and what they're doing now. Yes, yeah, so Flights is a Bay Area um, owned, owned, operated restaurant. Um, this man, his name is Alexander Holt, and he has probably four or five different flight restaurants around the Bay Area. And he's actually, convert, he's the first restaurant to convert his, he started off in Los Gatos because he has a location in Los Gatos, and he made it into the first no-touch drive through so what that means is people can buy groceries, they can buy family meals, they can buy specialty um, food and alcohol. And all they do is they drive up. In Los Gatos, they have a parking lot, but the one location in Campbell doesn't. So they're just driving up to the you know nearest to wherever the door is, the front door is. And there are people that you just pop open the trunk and they're gonna put the groceries into your back of your trunk or in your car. So it's a no touch, which I think is a really nice way because I've been looking at his Facebook pages and people have been commenting and saying it's a really, really nice service that he's offering. And you can buy things like eggs and milk, flour, sugar, um, paper towels, toilet paper. He has also, what else does he have? Um, meats, fruits, um, bread. So anything, if you don't want to go to the supermarket, because some people don't want to make that trip to the supermarket, right. just get in your car, drive up, and they will drop off the stuff for you in your car. So that's flights. Um, in, I don't know if they're doing it for all locations, but I know it's in Los Gatos and in Campbell that they're doing it. So wow. thank you, Alexander Holtz, for doing that for everyone. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. You know, one of the things when I have had to go out, I always look around to see what is classified as an essential store. And I'm still shocked to see liquor stores and smoke shops are still open. Me What's too. the essential matter? The fact that if you don't have a little drinky drink, you're going to lose your mind? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't understand that either. And they say that I mean, I went walking the other day and there's liquor shops open and I'm like, oh, is that really essential? I <laughs> guess people, and you know, the thing is, there's more and more videos coming out on YouTube on how to make different drinks now. So oh. I think make, there's different cocktail drinks, different mixes, and what you can do at home with alcohol. And we were looking and I think BevMo, um, what's the other store? Total Wines and More, they're all open. Yeah. Oh yeah, and, and I, I don't I don't understand. I I I'm like okay. I I realize that if a person that say unfortunately is an alcoholic and they need it, um, or they would have to go through some form of detox. However, 
there are, you know, companies like myself, I mean, and like you, we can, we can stay open. If that's the, the classification, it's something that you need, not necessarily life and death. It's just what you want and what you need. And so I've just really been surprised because they keep talking about how they're going around and they're finding people. A friend of mine, her um, nail salon person was doing uh, nails out of her home and she got caught. And so that, that wasn't really a good thing to do because I'm like, why, why would you run the risk of a $5,000 fine as a small business person if all you have to do is adhere to the law? Right, right. Yeah, so talking about essential, non-essential, I'm surprised that um, cleaners, dry cleaners are open. They're, they're classified as essential, I'm surprised. Yeah. If you're not going to work where you have to wear fancy dress up clothes, why do you need a dry cleaner? I know. I know. We, don't know. we don't know where the, all this comes from, what's essential and what's not. Well, I tell you, the, the one um, good thing coming out of this entire situation that the world can see is the environment has made leaps and bounds. I have a friend that lives in LA and she says that the air is cleaner in LA than it has been in 30 years. Yes. I have a friend that was, um, she sent me a picture and she was at um, uh, some place, I think it was India and it was the Himalayan mountains. And she says, normally you can't see them. You can see them. You can see them and it's day and night. Yes. You know, gas under a dollar a gallon. Did you ever think that would happen? No, no. Where is that? <laughs> I'd like um, to know where under a dollar a gallon is. It's back east, of course. You know it's not here yet. Well, Our it's not like I'm gas. driving anywhere, so it's okay. Exactly. I haven't gassed up for three weeks. Me neither. And then um, I heard that um, because we're not buying as much, they want to um, um, increase the price or something so that they, you know, cause it's like, oh, we're losing money. And it's like, what do people do with money when they're making it? When you've got a billion dollars and so you don't get your normal $50,000 a week salary, you mean to tell me you can't survive that you have to start gouging poor people to keep your, I mean, you're, you're, they're not even spending the money. The money's sitting in a bank or invested, and yet they're acting like it is dire straight. It's really weird. Yep, it is. Yes. So um, just before we wrap up, um, President Obama endorsed Joe Biden, and um, Bernie Sanders, Sanders has also endorsed Joe Biden. And this morning, Elizabeth Warren also endorsed Joe Biden. So um, I'm going to let Ro uh, Rosetta talk a little bit about the video. But before we go there, I just want to say, Vice President Biden, please hear my words. Do not make the mistake that other people have made in the past. I heard that, yes, Bernie Sanders has endorsed you, yet he's not going to take his name off the ballot, that kind of thing. You need to build a team. You need to take the people that were on that stage with you. You need to take their passions and their drives and their expertise and build a team so that we, the people of the United States, will have a government that is of the people, for the people, and by the people. Because Bernie bros will burn you to the ground. Do not go there. Pick excellent people to be a part of your team. And when you go to the convention, announce that team. Get America inspired. Now, Rosetta, tell us what you thought about the video that President Obama did. Yes, I loved it. And I actually wrote word for word what he wrote. And I'm going to read it because I didn't memorize excellent. it too much. But Barack came on the, on the um, TV screen and he endorsed Joe Biden, and this is his words. The kind of leadership guided by knowledge and experience, honesty and humility, empathy and grace, that is the kind of leadership doesn't belong in outstate, sorry, it says that kind of leadership doesn't belong in our state capitals and major offices it belongs in the White House, 
And that's why I'm so proud to endorse Joe Biden for President of the United States. Yes, that's so beautiful. I hope you read that. I made a little mistake there, but that's the kind of leadership guided by knowledge, experience, honesty, humility, empathy, and grace. Yes. And of all people, he should know. Yes. And, and so, I think that is just beautiful. It really is. Thank you, Barack Obama, for doing that. I was waiting because... Um, I wanted to see what he was going to say about all this. He's been quite silent and yes. now he's come out of the woodworks. And I'm happy that he came out of the woodworks and he had something so positive to share. And that yep. was, that was beautiful, 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 beautiful. So as we wrap up today, um, Rosetta and I are definitely going to do all ends to see if we can connect with Ellen because we love her. We talk about her on every video. We want to grow up and be like her so that we can, you know, bring love and joy to the world as she does. I mean, her heart must just feel like it's going to pounce out of her chest after a day of doing her show. So Ellen, we miss you. We know that you're still there. We miss you and we look forward to always connecting with you and Rosetta. And one day we'll meet her and I'm all in. I've already gone onto the website and I'm all in. Yes. And that's, that's really, I commend you, Ellen. Thank you so much. And her and Portia, she announced, and she's a very private person when she donates. And she said that her and Portia today are donating $1 million to the All In Challenge. So good for you, Thank Ellen. You. I commend you and Portia. Thank you so much for sharing this and spreading the, um, the much needed um, money and the funds that yeah. these organizations need for these people that are just hanging on and not sure when their next meals are. Absolutely. And can I say one more joke before we sure. leave? Yes. yes. I'd like to say, okay. What do, oh, I can't even read my own handwriting. <laughs> oh. What do, what do sprinters eat before a race? Carbs. Okay, what do sprinters eat before a race? Nothing. They fast. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a funny girl. Oh my goodness. Well, thank you all very much for joining us today. Yes, we really appreciate that. We had a great chat. Again, we want to wish everyone be safe, healthy, and just we're very grateful that we can come to you today on this chat and tell some jokes and talk about what's happening and our loves, our you know, socials and our life and what's going on. But thank you everyone for tuning in. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button so that you can like our videos, subscribe and hit the notification button so that you'll receive all our chats when they get uploaded. And don't forget, comment below, feedback, anything that you want to say about our videos. Positive, obviously. <laughs> thank you. <Yeah. laughs> Thanks so much. And remember to always, always keep, keep smiling. smiling. Take care now. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.